With the Boston Bruins season now over, now starts a very important season for this team being the offseason. This team is expected to make a lot of moves to increase their team's chances of getting a Stanley Cup next year. With a lot of money to spend, this team is going to be ready to go. So I'm going to be talking about here in this video just the main ones that we know could happen and likely will happen here in this offseason, including some moves, some players moving in free agency, and everything about that. So make sure to stick around, find out what players they are. But before we get into it, we know that 81% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed to the channel. If you're looking for a spot to get all of your Boston Bruins, news you're in the right spot make sure to hit the sub button join me here as this offseason is only getting started now and we will be very very busy here in this offseason everything from the draft to the, everything everything you're not going to want to miss any of it but like i said let's get into our first topic here which is a jake debrusque is he signing elsewhere and a lot of signs are currently pointing to this now if you had just seen uh the leafs leafs digest video they theorized that jake debrusque could be going to the maple leafs now i know that's been in the cards however is it really going to happen? Is that what we're going to see? And I hope not. But let's get into what we have here from Pluto Shinzawa uh, from this team's post -se or uh, you know end of season interviews. Jake DeBrusque uh, said this on an extension. I thought it would, it would would have been done already. Still has hope a deal is possible. So this goes to show two sides of a coin. Being the Boston Bruins not really willing to pay him probably what he wants, but Jake DeBrusque wanting to re-sign. And, you know, we see that a lot in the NHL nowadays. A lot of players wanting more money than what some teams are willing to give them. And then all that whole scenario. However, I think that these two parties are quite apart right now. However, I what I've seen from Jake DeBrusque in this, off, or this uh, postseason sorry, really made me think that the Bruins need to get him back. He's a playoff performer. And I know that that's been a trend over the past few seasons where... And his playoffs were very good. His regular season wasn't the best. However, he was battling injuries in this regular season. The postseason really gave him that big boost, being uh, healthier and just playing well again. And I really hope that this can continue into next season with the Boston Bruins. I really do think that they need to at least attempt to get a, a new contract for Jake DeBrusque and re-sign him ahead of uh, next season. He's a very big part of this team in the postseason been here his whole career and he really does enjoy the team and the team enjoys him the fan base does I know there's some up and downs with him while looking at him in the regular season but he has a very positive impact on this team and I hope he does stay but I have also this here from the Bruins Network on Twitter that he says Jake DeBrusque led the Bruins in playoff points slash goals is third on the team since 2021 in playoff points scores 24 goals per 82 games in a regular season place left wing and right wing anywhere in the lineup, plays in the penalty kill, and wants to be in Boston, and turns 28 in October. That is not a guy you let walk, and I completely agree. Now, you know, a lot of people respond to this tweet negatively, saying, yeah, a $4.5 million contract may be too much, you know, he shouldn't be earning that much, and that's kind of what Jake DeBrusque's mind and their agent was at, um, come a contract and looking for a new new price and that was really where we settled at uh from the last time we we found out from the last thing we heard from uh, both these parties however even though that 4.5 quite a lot still right now the cap is going to be going up quite a bit over these next few seasons so i really don't hate the idea of you know let's just say a four five or six year deal at 4.5 for jake debrusque that will turn into con a contract similar to about two to three million now around the end of that contract. So it's not going to be a horrible deal or not going to go down as a horrible deal if something like this does come to fruition for Jake DeBrusque and the Boston Bruins. However, as you've seen here in this Bruins Network tweet, I think that you cannot get a, uh, let a guy like Jake DeBrusque, Jake DeBrusque walk in the point he's at, in the situation he's at in his career. And even though he's linked to many, many teams, including the Toronto Maple Leafs, I don't think that he'll he'll really take anything like that until he has a a, a positive or um, you know a guaranteed yes or no from the Boston Bruins. So I think Boston has a great chance here to go get a re uh, resigned resigned to a new contract, keep him here long term at a, a decent price. And I Jake DeBrus knows that he didn't have his be best regular season, and hopefully that can come into a bit of a factor from the Bruins, um, you know, management staff standpoint where. They can use that to their advantage for how much that uh, contract will cost. But once again, we're only a few days into the offseason here for the Boston Bruins, and things are still going to get very spicy when this time comes. But let's hope that this is the case. I will be keeping you guys updated on to this, uh, this whole bit. 
like I said, but let's head on to the part that I'm sure everybody is wondering about just since the trade deadline, and that is Linus Allmark. Is a trade coming for him after not playing, you know, a, a regular playoffs, I guess, for him? The last year's Vesna winner didn't have the opportunity he wish he had in this year's playoffs because Jeremy Swainman was dominating the crease, dominating the teams he was playing, and was playing too good to take him out of the net. And this is what Linus Allmark had to say in his interviews uh, today, saying under he understood why Jeremy Swayman became the number one in the playoffs. Doesn't mean that he wasn't disappointed in himself. And he also said that he wants to return, feels like he'll be on a revenge tour if he is. Now, another situation here where I'm seeing both parties kind of thinking uh, along some different wavelengths. We want to keep Linus Allmark. We want both of these goalies. However, is it really going to be an efficient way to do it where Jeremy Swayman has good he's been playing, surprised everybody with how many games in a row he's played in the playoffs, started, and had success in? You know, that can definitely translate to a regular season where you're playing a lot more of a, a relaxed game. Still very, um, you know, on top of everything game, but the playoffs and the regular season, two very different games. And he had that success in a playoff series. So, really good question whether or not this is going to be a, a, an opportunity for Jeremy Swaim to have kind of that 40-50 games played season so, um, compared to the 41-39 area that he's been at normally. I, I think that Jeremy Swaim could definitely benefit in this, but I really do think that the Boston Bruins want to have the availability of having two all-star goalies. Now, this comes from an Athletic article here discussing this whole topic, and if you do have an Athletic subscription, I do recommend going to read this. Some very interesting things here, and these are all the teams that have either linked or, uh, you know, want to have a guy like Linus Allmark or willing to trade for a goalie or who need a goalie, saying that Colorado, Edmonton, LA, and Toronto are the playoff teams that are looking for a goalie, and as you know, all of those teams but one are out of these playoffs right now. And then the non-playoffs teams being the Blue Jackets, Detroit Red Wings, New Jersey, Ottawa, Philadelphia, and San Jose. Some of those being borderline playoff teams, some of those being not even close like the San Jose Sharks. So I think we can count them out. But however, like all these teams here, a lot of these teams need a goalie and will be willing to pay, I will say, a lot for a guy like Linus Allmark, who is one year left at $5 million, likely can be traded with 50% retention from the Boston Bruins as well. And... To me, you can get a very good return, in my mind, for a guy, in this case being Linus Allmark, and his contract with the skill and having the availability to re-sign him um, when you get control of him. So, will Linus Allmark be traded? Will he not? Still, still a lot of conversation. I don't. I really don't have an answer right now, to be honest with you. I don't have a a solid answer in my mind, but with the, with the goalies that we have, um, sorry, here, Linus Allmark, Brandon Bussey, and Jeremy Swayman, I think that we're in the clear if Linus Allmark does get traded. We know the friendship between Jeremy Swayman and Linus Allmark has impacted the success of both of these guys over the past few seasons, so that's going to be a big factor as well, but I believe that the Bruins will have success goaltending no matter which direction they go. Jeremy Swayman and Brandon Bussey, two contracts are going to have to be re-signed and will happen, I'm expecting, as soon as both guys get ready, good to go, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to see what the price will be of that. I don't think it'll be too much, but I'm excited to see this new generation of Bruins goaltending pop up here. I'll pull up this last one as well. A lean Solmark trade can definitely move you up in this um, in in these draft picks of this year. Also, you know, the three uh, first one, two, and three rounds, and the second round next year, the Bruins have no picks, so maybe they try and look up and in the draft, see a guy they like, maybe try and move up and trade Linus Allmark for him. We don't know yet. There's going to be a lot of conversation about that over the coming weeks, days, and months, and you're going to want to hit the sub button, and I'll keep you updated with every single bit of Bruins news that we have, because I am, I'm sad we lost the playoffs, but I'm so excited to see what we have in store for this offseason. So, like I said, hit the sub button if you do want to stay up to date with all of the Bruins news. But that's all I got here in this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a like. Hit the sub button, like I said. Uh, but yeah, get ready for a very busy offseason from this Boston Bruins team. And make sure to turn the post notifications on. You're not going to want to miss the amount of videos that we're going to have this summer. But that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you later.